Welcome to another video of the Hockey Nation Live Show with your hockey coach, Guru Cole Frenchy. Today, we talk about the UFA NHL Class 2022. We know in the next couple of days, we're going to have uh, the market open up July 13 at 12 o'clock Eastern Time. We're going to be live streaming everything from 11 o'clock until to the end of the day. Of course, we're going to give you everything you need to know what's happening. But today, I want to give you the best 15 players are on the market right now in NHL. So don't go nowhere. Here we go, guys. The free agent 2022. Let's set up uh, the first player I want to talk about, guys, is uh, the number one of the UFA is Johnny Goodrow. The 28 years old for the Calgary Flames have an amazing, great year last year. 115 points and 82 games with 40 goals, 75 assists. We know Johnny Hockey was all over the map for the Calgary Flames. He's looking for the contract, how much he can get. I still believe around $80 million. Uh, but the problem, not much communication between both parties. Can he sign before? He never gave the, his answer if he wants to return in Calgary or testing the market. So it would be interesting to follow with Johnny Goodrow. Let's move on to the next one, guys. And uh, it's going to be Nizam Kadri, 31 years old, his best year in the NHL career with 87 points and 71 game, 28 goal. Kadri was the, maybe the best second center in NHL this year. It was an amazing, great year with the color of energy won the sunny cup can he stay i don't think so i think at 31 years old the color have maybe other plan for him we better seeing if he's going to stay or not uh, the next one i want to talk about guys is uh elgini malkin uh, he said oh yeah, what's the number three but philip forsberg signed a contract a couple of days ago so obviously the number three is out we have to go with malkin 35 years old and 41 game yes, uh, last season at 42 points. Good year again. Injury again make him have missing half of the season. Let's thank his teammate signed with the team. So we'll be interesting if Pittsburgh have enough money for Malkin. If not, where is going? Can the Washington Capitals get him? A couple of teams are looking for the second center. We'll be interesting where Malkin is going to play next year. The next one I want to talk about is uh, Patrice Bergeron, number six. Uh, 36 years old, you have 65 points and 73 game last year, 25 goals, 40 assists. Look, he said he wants to come back with the Boston Brown. If not, he's not going to go nowhere. So it's not like he's really a free agent. The agreement verbally, he expects to come back with the Boston Browns, maybe only one year contract or maybe two. We sell this on the air. But expect Bergeron, if he returns in NHL, is going to be with the Boston Bruins. Uh, let's move on now for the next one. It's Claude Giroux. We know Giroux got trade at the trade deadline for the Flyers after 14 years over there. One to Panthers. Did not do well. He did well him. He got almost one point per game. But the Panthers got eliminated uh, during the second round. Uh, 34 years old. 65 points. 75 game. Great year for him. Overall. Now, his name is really relate with the Edmonton Oilers. Can he go there? That's something we have to follow up. But Or it could also be with the Ottawa Senator. But still, he wants to play with the team, have more chance to win the Stanley Cup. Let's move on to the number eight. And I'm talking about uh, John Klember. We heard yesterday he is going to test in the market. So he's not going to return in at moment at that moment with a dollar star at uh, 47 point and 34 game only six goals but we know what he does right the transition the rush power play unit and the 29 years old is looking to get a little bit more money his option or what he was trying to get is about 60 to 60 million dollars for his next contract for seven to eight years can the team give this kind of money to john glenber would be interesting uh, where John's going to play. We have a couple of teams all looking for the right defenseman. Here we go. The next one, guys, is Evander Kane. Mm, uh, you know what the drama with Kane happening last season. Then he will join with the Oilers. Have an amazing, great run with them. Of course, look like the Oilers don't want to keep him with the money. Did not work uh, the kind of agreement. So Kane looked like he's testing the market. 
30 years old, 39 points and 43 games. He have 13 goals on the playoff. He's still right now on the court for the contract last year with San Jose. This could be a problem for him to negotiate. It would be interesting if a team can want to give him a minimum possible of $24 to $30 million. He is only 30 years old, so uh, money talks sometime. We'll see who can, where he's going to be. Let's move on to the next one. Valery Nikushin, 27 years old, had his best year this year with the Colorado Avalanche, 62 game, 25 goal guy, 52 point. I believe he had 13 goal, 14 goal in the playoff. He was one of the best players for the Colorado Avalanche on the third round in the final Stanley Cup. He's looking for money. Look like Joe Sakic want to keep Nikushin. How much money? No clue. I would be surprised if he leave Colorado. I expect him to return with the Colorado Avalanche. The number 11, Audrey Pala, 31 years old, 77 game with 49 points, 18 goals. Maybe one of the best four checker. At least he did an amazing during the playoff for the Tampa Bay Lightning. They lose against the Colorado Avalanche. But again, Palat play a specific role in that team, and not many players can do what he does. And I believe he's going to resign with them. But now, rumor is he can get much money somewhere else. Can he go somewhere? I'll be surprised. I think the Tampa Bay Lightning is going to find a way to keep him. Jack Campbell, the goaltender, the first goaltender of this list, uh, 30 years old, just finished a great year with the Toronto Maple Leaf. It was really his first full year in NHL where he is excel whatsoever. He did not do well the second part of the, of the season with injuries, COVID-19 related. But he had 31, 9, and 6 guy, 0.91 and 4, 2.64 overall. It's not too bad. His series player was so so. We know Toronto lost again a seven game. He's looking to get around six million dollars, and the Toronto cannot afford this. Can he resign over there? Look like no. Edmonton Oilers is really on his list. We'd be interesting if the Oilers going to go with Jack Campbell. Here we go. Number fourteen, Vincent Trachek, twenty-eight years old. Uh, Player for the Carolina Hurricane at 51 point and 81 game, 21 goal. It was a good year, but I believe is a, a player should get about 60 to 70 point in NHL. Played many years with the Florida Panthers, cut trade two years ago uh, to the Carolina, become a free agent now. I don't think so. He return with Carolina. Team like Boston could looking for him, or the Washington Capitals looking possible also. The New York Rangers, a couple of teams already be interesting about Vincent Trachek. Not more at $7 million. I think a $6 million max should give to him. Number 15, the veteran, the 34 years old, David Perron. Look, this is a machine constantly, year after year, Perron perform 27 goal against 67, 67 game, 57 point. Perron been, what, three times with St. Louis Blues now? He loves to stay there. Can the Blues have enough money for him? Now, it's going to be a deal for this contract. At 34, expect maybe at three years, $4 million. That would be the best they can give to him. Can he stay there? Would be interesting if Perron want to get that kind of deal. Next one is another for the Colorado Avalanche, Andre Burakovsky, 27 years old, 61.80 game. Great year for him, 22 goals, 39 assists. Obviously, he got hurt during the Stanley Cup playoff this year but again another guy can score 20 goals per year kind of maybe want to keep him but i don't know but it's going to be looking more at four million dollars he kind of cannot afford to get that kind of money good top six players second unit power play second line worst case third line we know what he can do came for the washington capitals we better see what is going to go next season let's move on to the next one and this one guys is the Andrew Cup, uh, we know he got trade at the trade deadline for the Winnipeg Jet to the New York Rangers. Uh, not bad at the end of the year. Played well on the playoff. Uh, he had 53 points, 72 game. Look, he's a center, played third line usually. Four checker, played well. Sometimes you can use him a second line. Not sure if he can stay there as a second line. $5 million, that's a lot of money for him. He never been a big scorer, like 30 goals. He's more about 20, 23, 24 goals. So he's been to 50 points per year. Again, he played for Winnipeg Jeff for many years on the third line. So better to see what Cup can get. 
But look like the Rangers are not going to resign him. Next one I want to talk about, another for the Colorado Avalanche. Yes, we have a lot for them. This is the goaltender, Darcy Quemper. Look like he's going to test in all the market. Toronto is really one. Maybe he can go there. Edmonton is under the one. 37, 12, and 4.92 and 1, 2.54. The number are there. So, so playoff. He's a great goaltender, but not a super elite goaltender. You have to sign him below $6 million. We've been to a 32 years old. So he's not young. Maybe four years, around $6 million, 5.5. Can't wait to see which team is going to give that kind of contract to him. Number 19, and I'm talking about guys of the Renstrom, the second center for the New York Rangers, decide to go on the market, free market. And at 29 years old, 74 game, 54 point. 21-33. We know what he accomplished with the Ranger for the last couple of years. A solid second center. Washington, Boston, Carolina are really possible to get him. Not more $5 million. That would be my targeting. Five, six years, $5 million. Uh, get him about $25 million total. We'd be interesting if which thing is going to get him. Finally, the last one is um, Josh Manson, 30 years old. Uh, Got trade at the trade deadline from the Anaheim to the Colorado Avalanche. It's not about the point here. It's all about how he plays physically. Zone coverage is excellent. Have a great run for the Colorado Avalanche with three goals uh, during the playoff, by the way. He did very well with them. Look like he's returning to Anaheim. Look, he loved to be there. I think for me, Manson returned uh, with the Anaheim Ducks. Worst case, possible in Montana Oilers, but I don't see what could happen there. Uh, Finally, I want to mention a couple of players right here. Could be good. Mason Marshman testing the market. Chariot look like Florida Panthers tried to get him. Resign. Mikhail leaving the Toronto Maple Leaf. Fleury just signed a contract two years with a Minnesota Wild. Nether Raider is testing the market like Kulak, Raquel, Lady, and Domi. All of them are right now on the free market this Wednesday, July 13. So guys, this complete my 20 best player on the market right now for the UFA. Would be interesting. We're going to be live Wednesday, 1130. We're going to follow everything until 4 or 5 o'clock p.m. until what this last news we can get from NHL. Would be a really, really busy day for sure. This is really the last busy day in NHL. Then they move to the off season until they go for the upcoming year. So thank you again for watching another video with the Hockey Coach Girl Coach Frenchy. Now, I want to ask you a couple of things. First, don't forget to click on the like, sharing this video, and below this video, tell me which player is going to go. Which team is going to sign this player on my list today? Thanks again, and remember, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.